AI models are dropping left and right. Each of them is claiming to be the best now with some real convincing benchmarks. Although how they're hitting these benchmarks and how they're trained is a little bit to be questioned. But anyway, which one really takes the crown and what are they really claiming? And more importantly, what does this AI arms race mean for engineers, electrical engineers, hardware and PCB design. Stick around because the AI revolution is just getting started. So first I'm going to talk about DeepSeek. If you haven't been using DeepSeek, it is a tool similar to ChatGPT where you're able to go in, start chatting with your user interface, and it uses these models that allow you to, you know, do a lot of cool things. Right now you have the DeepSeek V3 using a multitude of experts architecture, meaning you have multiple AIs that are trained by an AI or more, and then it selects certain subject matter experts per se to make decisions more quickly, uh, depending on the kind of task like reasoning and so on and so forth. But the biggest one is rephrase. But the biggest news is DeepSeek's R1. It's now available in the Azure AI Foundry and on GitHub. DeepSeek's R1 model is claiming to have benchmarks that are, you know, it's performing, it's outperforming the chat GPTs or open AI's O1 reasoning model. If you want a full understanding or better idea of what I'm even talking about, click on the link below where you can access a paper that details everything about this. You can view the PDF by accessing the paper over here, then it's gonna explain, it breaks down how DeepSeek is outperforming in some areas OpenAI's O1 model. So these are the graphs and it gives that, you know, explanation, experiment, and the training template, reward modeling, how it handles equations, mathematical problems. And one of the biggest examples being finding the, okay, I think it's claimed to find like, I don't know, the billionth prime number or something like that. There's a lot of buzz around this. So if you're not familiar, this is DeepSeek from China. Okay. And it's been out for a while, you know, it's been doing its thing, but this recent R1 model is just making headlines like crazy. Okay. We're not talking about just the chat GPT's GPT 4.0 model, but there's, we're talking about the reasoning model, this O1 here. Okay. Being able to handle reasoning tasks. There are many different models. If you're not familiar with the different models and these AI tools or the user interface, chat GPT or deep seek that uses the models behind them and the different kinds of models for different tasks. But guess what? That's not the only big news that's out. After the announcement of the R1 model from DeepSeek, we have Quen 2.5 is from the Alibaba company. Alibaba releases AI model that surpasses even DeepSeek. I'm not sure if they were like waiting for the right time to announce this or like, I don't know how this is so coincidental or timely or intentional in their announcement, but yeah, they are claiming some interesting they're claiming better performance in some areas compared to ChatGPT's O1 model and um, being better than the R1 model from DeepSeek. Now, what makes DeepSeek's announcement so special? Obviously, we're gonna have uh, better reasoning models and all that, but what, what's so important about DeepSeek? The reason is because the claim is that DeepSeek was able to do its training of its model with only, you know, compared to OpenAI ChatGPT and you know their models were instead of like a instead of a hundred million dollars for model training they're about DeepSeek claims to have done it in 5.6 million okay with only 5.6 million dollars worth of training and resources that is literally only a fraction of the cost okay to get similar and in some cases slightly better performance than the you know ChatGPT's or open AI's models. So that major difference, I mean, that's an, that's an astro, that's a near astronomical 
difference, I would say, right? In terms of cost per output, per usability. What does this mean for the direction that things are going? Things are going to become more efficient. You won't need to have as high-end chips to do AI processing. But anyway, let me not get ahead of myself. With Quen 2.5, apparently it's even better. Now, I don't know the full story and how much money it took to train Quen 2.5, but there are uh, links in the description below where you where you can get more information about all this. But it's supposedly outperforming both of these two, just on the tail end of DeepSeek's announcement. And here's the Quen environment where you can try out Quen 2.5 Max for yourself. There's also this article about how Alibaba Quen 2.5 has surpassed DeepSeek and OpenAI's chat, uh, OpenAI's models. The other big thing about DeepSeek's announcement is that DeepSeek's models are open sourced, whereas OpenAI's models are closed. Okay, it's closed, meaning you don't have access to the back end, the the inner workings and the layers, the AI layers in the back end there. Okay, you have access to the API, right? But not you can't just get the model directly like you can with um, Deep Seas R1. So, I mean, it's just, that's just astronomical, like just phenomenal. It's really like, this is, this is, I mean, I don't even know how to describe it. Let's, you know, we don't want any cookie. Okay, fine. Let's see, agree to the cookies. Okay. DeepSeek R1 now live with NVIDIA NIM. I mean, this is just getting, just, just going everywhere. Perfect example of test time scaling. So NVIDIA is on board with this already. Okay. So what I want to do is, oh, and there's one more thing. There's one more thing. Kimmy K 1.5. I don't even know where these guys came from, right? Kimmy K 1.5 is yet another model that's been announced and it's from Moonshot, okay? It's supposedly outperforming GPT-40. That's the typical standard model you're gonna run into with uh, ChatGPT. Claude Sonnet, if you're using Claude, okay? And apparently it's doing very well. So these are the models and tools you're gonna want to start being familiar with or you might've heard of or might not have heard of. G DeepSeek, ChatGPT, of course, everyone knows ChatGPT. If you're not using ChatGPT, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, especially if you're a designer. Well, let me take that back because if you are using AI, you definitely want to be a subject matter expert so you can fact check and double check the AI. Speaking of which, let's go into companies, EDA software companies that are utilizing artificial intelligence to help engineers. Okay. So if you haven't been aware, there are many different companies that are using AI. One of the companies is CircuitMind. I had a discussion with CircuitMind and I've seen a demo of their tool. And basically what this does is it gets your idea of something you're wanting to work on, right? And it will have, it has artificial intelligence on the back end that claims to generate error-free circuits the first time, the right time. Okay.